What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. What do you think? Nice. But wait. You ain't seen nothing yet. White. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's. Oh my God. Sasquatch. Don't get me wrong, I don't really mind a little bit of hair. This isn't a little bit of hair though. It's an entire forest of sh caked bug infested fur. Pass. I'm not a furry, nor even sure if I could find the hole. The Jersey Devil. I'm not one to make fun of someone for having a weird body, but look at this gangly mother f Its proportions don't even make sense. There are some cryptids that I think could exist, and this idiot is not one of them. Pass. How can I f something I don't even believe in? Loch Ness Monster. So this thing is basically just a trapped plesiosaur. I'm telling you man, with a throat like that, Nessie could give one hell of a pecker inspector using only her necker. Smash. Chupacabra. Fun fact, the English to Spanish translation for chupacabra means goat sucker. Some might think its name comes from how it sucks the blood out of goats and stuff, but it's actually because I'm the fuck goat and you can fill in the rest. Smash. Mothman. I wonder what moth genitalia looks like. Oh! No, 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 f it ass, f claws. <laughs> Pass. Mongolian death worm. Now the Mongolian death worm has acidic spit, but if you were to drain all that out and only have the electric shock part, it's like a taser and a fleshlight all at the same time. Smash. Yeti. The Yeti would have the same too much hair problem as Bigfoot for me. Not only that, I'd have to be up in the mountains so my fingers would be so small and that'd be embarrassing. I um, pass. I have a huge piece and will murder anyone that claims otherwise. Sea ape slash mermaids. For the sea ape, it's a definite pass, because it's literally just a dead monkey sewn to a dead fish. For the mermaid, it depends. Is it top half lady and bottom half fish? And if so, what kind of hardware do we have downstairs? Or is it human legs and fish body? Or maybe it's the mermaids that destroyed Animal Planet's reputation. Smash, I don't have time for this, I just want to get my d licked. Flatwoods monster. Some sort of reptilian alien in a big metal suit? I'm just saying, under that titanium dress is definitely a dummy thick ass. They don't build it that wide for no reason, and I see no reason better than a huge butt. Smash. Dover Demon. Okay, so this thing is basically just a stereotypical gray alien. This thing isn't really displayed with a mouth, and all of the literature I can find of the Dover Demon suspiciously doesn't have any information as to whether or not it has an anus. Pass. Too much guesswork. Skunk Ape. The human actually went on an expedition to a scam shack in the swamp to try to find this thing. I don't I don't think he specified if he was there to f it though. He didn't specify that he wasn't there to f it though. Pass. The alligator nuggets were good, but I'm not going back to the swamps. Loveland Frog. A large pseudo humanoid frog from Loveland, Ohio. This thing is definitely slippery and slimy. I'm gonna get in there and fertilize me some weird squishy eggs. Smash. <laughs> What is it? What is, what is, what's even this sh anymore? Sea serpents. Long, slippery, and basically a living fleshlight. The only thing that makes me question is the salt water. You ever get that in a cut? Imagine that in your d hole. Smash. I've stuck my d worse. Skinwalker. Now, since this creature can only really shapeshift into animals, that's a definite pass from me. You could ask her to stay a human, but if they're corrupt enough to become a skinwalker, then they definitely have some sort of weird thing for being eaten out as a raccoon, and I'm not about it. Pass. The Wendigo, described as completely emaciated and corrupt beyond belief, shown by their endless hunger for human flesh. I'm not gonna say, like, that's my type, but I'm not gonna say, like, that it's far off from my type. Smash. Looking good. Almost done. And there. Done. <gasps> what have you done? I painted the truth. I painted my truth. I had to Google sexualized Sasquatch art and Rule 34 cryptids because of you first. Sometimes I like to work in a coffee shop in between my classes. Sometimes the people in the coffee shop like to enjoy their coffee without someone putting a dump truck thick moth woman on full screen right in front of them. Needless to say, only one of us got what they wanted that day. Mummy. 
With all those bandages, this one definitely has some tie-up potential. I'm gonna dig through this whole gosh darn pile of embalms, toilet paper, wrapped human corpses until I find Cleopatra's historically infamous act that destroyed nations. Smash. Hey, stop! I, uh, why? I just don't get it. I always catch you watching this sick shit. <laughs> Frankenstein. Frankenstein is a pass for me, but I do the bride of Frankenstein. You can murder people to mix and match their parts like Mr. Potato Head. The only limit is your imagination and possibly necrophilia. Werewolf. I don't know how many times I need to tell you guys that I'm not a furry. Pass. While I do intend to one day create a human-animal hybrid, I want to do it with science and not my dick. Zombies. Look at her. She's already fallen apart just standing there. If I try to do literally anything, pieces of her will just start sloughing off onto the floor. Or pass. Dracula. Now I know Dracula can give the good suck. No one's questioning that. But this monster definitely uses its teeth. Pass. Dude, you're like one of the oldest monsters and still haven't learned this yet. And you still don't know why they don't call you back? It's because they're dead. Because you sucked all the blood out of their penis. Headless Horseman. No head, but he definitely has a neck hole. I've never gotten a neck job. I would imagine it's like sticking it in the hole that that lady whose name is Shelly and used to be a smoker. Smash. Demon. For me, it depends what kind of demon. Am I getting a soul job from a succubus? or am I getting crushed under Beelzebub's morbidly obese ass? Pass, I can never get that image out of my head. That's too much of a gamble. The creature from the Black Lagoon. This thing is the slipperiest and slimiest one in the whole list. That's nature's lubrication. Smash. That person your parents warned you about putting razor blade laced poison in your candy. Smash, I'm a sucker for a dark sense of humor. Gray alien. I'm into a lot of weird stuff, but not getting probed. And also, because it's for science, it'd be so strangely professional and methodical that I'd feel like I'm screwing Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. Smash, Bazinga. Pumpkin with a hole drilled in it. What happened to this pumpkin? Well, you said you weren't sure if we were gonna use it. And so I did. Spooky scary skeletons. Skeletons have no ass and every point of entry would be dry and with a lot of friction. Pass. Honestly, there's not much difference between screwing this and dragging your genitals on the concrete like a dog's ass on the carpet. The abominable snowman. This entire thing is made from snow and ice. There's no way my little eyeball will be standing at full attention in that weather. Not only that, but if there's one thing I learned from my traumatizing experience with Trojan fire and ice condoms, it is to never buy them again. Again, pass. F you Trojan, why did you make that? It feels like f sock filled with icy hot. The Grim Reaper. Skeletons, again, don't sound like a pleasurable experience. Also, since you die if this thing touches you, a handy would be the ultimate boner killer. Pass. Unless it's the Jamaican one from Billy and Mandy, then I gotta think a bit more. Scarecrow. Okay, so as is, I'm really not trying to stick my needle in that haystack. There's definitely some creepy crawlies that I don't want in my piss hole. If you were to cut it open, however, and fill it with microwave spaghetti, that's a different story. Smash. Side note, have you ever thought if... Somebody put like one end of the pasta in their pee hole and the other in their mouth and then they did like a lady in the, the tramp thing? No? Okay, then me neither then. Big Charlie. It's so tender that pieces of it literally fall off and become other creatures. Do you know how soft the inside of this creature probably is? Smash. I wonder if I gotta pay its pimp big meat processing. If it don't fall off the bone, it's free. Siren Head. This thing looks like a literal corpse with a bullhorn taped to its headless neck, but besides that, there really isn't anything to grab onto. Although, with the amount of clout this thing has attained, it's kinda like f***ing a famous person. Even if they're not attractive, huge flex. Smash. Bridgeworm. Alright, real talk though. What do you think this false face could be used for? I'm not sure either, but god damn it, I'm sure it's something. Smash. Fetid King. The difference between a skeleton of something and the actual thing that it's from is that the thing usually only has like two or three holes, and a skeleton is mostly holes. But all those holes are kind of like sharp and dry, and in this case, filled with maggots, so pass. Cartoon cat slash cartoon dog. Okay, so this thing can transform into literally any shape you want. Goodbye cartoon cat dog, hello cartoon Instagram model. Smash. Country road creature. 
Now, if this thing can also shapeshift like the theories, same rules as Cartoon Cat Smash, but I'm not really sure, cause like, look at that face. So if that can't shapeshift, I can't deal with it. But if it can't, you know, we're just gonna move on. Long horse. What choice is this even giving me? Sure, I could cram my d into its eye sockets or rub it along the top of its weird mouth, but both of those just sound awful. I tried to find a hole in the back, but this shit just keeps going and going and going and going. Ass. Lil Nugget. Now, I know this thing is basically a fleshlight as a creature. I mean, it's small and made out of flesh, come on. However, there is one aspect you may not be thinking of. Look, all I'm saying is I know what happened the last time I f a large pile of raw hamburger meat and I really don't want it to ever happen again. Pass. Void Nugget. Now, Trevor won't even discuss how horrifying this creature truly is. Now, for humans, the truest fear is the fear of the unknown. For me, the unknown gets me hard. Smash. Lamb. All right, so you know how this thing can use its psychic abilities to f with people's brains and manipulate their circulatory system so blood oozes out of their eyes and skin? Well, if it was your boo, it could probably just psychically put you in the most turned on state you've ever been in while it floods almost all of your blood into your genitals. Could you imagine what psychic coming feels like? Smash. Behemoth. This is another one of those times where it doesn't even seem like it would work logistically. Let's say I do get to the hole of this thousand meter tall lizard. What the f then? But half a me being half behemoth offspring. Artificial and smashination. Forgotten baby. I do not want this thing crawling up inside of my ass. Although, it doesn't have teeth. Pass. Milk walker abomination. I don't want to put any part of my body near a rancid milk carton with some rando's blood in it. Much less my car. Pass. Basement thing. No, I'm not gonna say I've never f a being that's incredibly pale from never seeing the sun, flabby but skinny fat with long gangly arms, and has seemingly evil intentions, but I am gonna say that it will be the last. Pass. Bonesworth. See how there's like a skull inside of a skull for its face? Well, I'm about to crack the outer layer right the f off with my pelvic bone. Smash. Angel. So you know how in nature, a cactus develops spikes? It's basically saying, don't eat me. The angel has also developed spikes around its entire body. I think it's trying to say, don't f me. Pass. Sea eater. Is this thing gonna try and eat my sea? I don't even know what that means. Unless it's like the letter C, and then does it mean c Also, there's the one detail where this thing's picture is blurrier than the genitalia in some of those Japanese porn videos. Why do they do that, by the way? It's not like people who are looking for it don't know what's happening. Pass. Picking a different video. World Eater. I will eat your world. Honey, my dad can hear you. Seeing as though this one would destroy every planet it comes across, you know when someone is just like way more work than it's worth it? That's what the World Eater is. It doesn't matter how hot she is. She'll destroy everything she comes in contact with. Pass. Trevor Henderson. Pass. Not into dudes. Would you stop asking these f questions? The nurses from the Silent Hill series. Okay, so the face is absolutely horrifying, but the rest of it is on par for some of the hottest people I've ever been with in my life. Smash. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Lady... Lady D from Resident Evil. Call me the entire internet when this game came out because I'm absolutely simping over this van pussy. Smash. Those weird potato guys from Amnesia. Oh, I guess they're called the Gatherers. Well, since their mouths are sliced open beyond belief, there's no way this thing can offer any suction. The rest of the body is also a nightmare patchwork of what looks like dead bodies. There's no way any of those holes are tight. Pass. The animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I'm lumping them all together, F you. I'm not a furry and I certainly don't want no dead kid animatronic robussy. Pass. I'm not sticking my dick anywhere near a Chuck E. Cheese knockoff filled with rotten pepperoni and kid organs. Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. There's no mouth to speak of, only the stabby points of the pyramid. If my only option is getting poked in the dong by one of five spikes, it's a pass. Alice from Bendy and the Ink Machine. Smash. It's basically Betty Boop ex a demon angel. This is one of the rare times I say smash enthusiastically. It's almost like horror game creators don't make their monsters with ability in mind. The Fungus Family from Resident Evil 7. Not only would screwing an entire family be really weird, I'm also pretty sure that yeast is a fungus, and I'm not trying to get a yeast infection, because I heard someone say the only way she can describe it is cactus in pee hole. 
Pass, the weird abominations from Scorn. Now this game hasn't really been released at the time of the video, I'm just really hyped for it, so I'm gonna agree to f something without knowing anything about it. Necromorphs from Dead Space. These things are basically alien parasite zombies, if I'm to understand correctly. Nothing about dead decaying humans filled with some sort of reanimation disease sounds appealing. Pass. The next bots that are chasing everybody around in Gmod. This one is kind of like a flat PNG animated at a fast speed. Pass. Calm down, son, it's just a drawing. <laughs> Val from Outlast 2. No empathy, and always completely naked and covered in mud. I mean, she's in great shape, though. Smash, it's what I fuck them, not do I consider them a good person. Chris Walker from Outlast. Look, this guy basically boils down to a murderous, morbidly obese ex-offensive lineman. That combination doesn't seem like it'd be too fun for me. I don't think I could do it with <clears throat> staring back at me either. Pass. The special zombies from Left 4 Dead 2. It depends on which one of them. I'm gonna be real honest though, the only one that gets a smash is the witch. Petite, pretty, unpredictable, and either constantly sobbing or in a state of other mania. Close behind is the spitter, but because spitters are quitters, I'm gonna pass. Dr. Richard Traeger from Outlast. The entire surface of this man's skin looks like shrink wrap fried chicken. Judging from how mangled the face and skin is, nothing in the downstairs looked like it'd be especially appealing. Pass. SCP-1471, Mallow. The top Google question asked is, is Mallow a furry? I'm not a furry, so no, I'm not gonna have sex with this skeletal humanoid raccoon app, pass. <laughs> SCP-173. Despite Peanut's obvious thickness, this thing is made of concrete and rebar. Not the best materials for a real doll. You ever skin your knee on the pavement? Imagine that, but completely encompassing your genitals. Pass. SCP-096. You can't even look at this thing's face or it freaks out and does everything in its power to murder you. I don't need somebody to be the most confident person on the planet, but how the hell are you supposed to hold a conversation when the only thing it wants to talk about is- <laughs> Pass. SCP-1903. This weird mask lady is the internet horror equivalent of a Playboy bunny. It even comes with added mercury poisoning. Smash. SCP-001. When day breaks. Are you asking me if I want to f*** the sun? Or the giant blob amalgamation that wants to assimilate all life into its mass? It doesn't matter, because both of these things involve becoming a part of something grander than yourself, and that's pretty corny. Pass. SCP-049. Okay, so this one is completely covered in a latex-like material, so that's a plus. Although, no one knows what goes on with that body under that cloak, and I don't really have a thing for being Frankenstein and lobotomy. Pass. SCP-682. The hard-to-destroy reptile? I'm sorry, this thing has obviously never seen my penis. Won't be hard to destroy when I'm done with it. Smash for the good of all life. SCP-035. Now, this thing's holes are constantly weeping some sort of slippery black fluid. And whether it's a smile or a frown, this evil mask always has an open mouth. Smash. This thing thinks it's so evil, I'm about to skull fuck that grin right off its face. SCP-303. That mouth, though. Although, when the door is open, this thing just kind of disappears, if I remember correctly, so we'd always just be gazing longingly through the windows. Long-distance relationships typically have not gone well for me. Pass. It seems like a nice entity and we'd both just get hurt. SCP-5909. A giant crustacean that is light years away from Earth, and also 2.1 light years in size. Don't get me wrong, no shade to those bearing the thickness, but there's no way that this one just doesn't end up like a hot dog in a multiple light year wide highway. SCP-3008, the infinite Ikea. Now last time I did something like this in an Ikea, I was forcibly removed from the kitchen section after making the meatballs a little extra Swedish, if you know what I mean. But since this one is literally infinite, there's no way they can kick me out for health code violations. Smash. SCP-953. Sociopathic fox girl. Okay, I know I just said I'm not a furry, but like, 
She's really hot, so smash, but I'm still not a furry. Don't call me one in the comments or I'll, I'll scream. SCP-2136. You do not f*** the bodies in the water. You do not f*** the bodies in the water. You do not f*** the bodies in the water. SCP-1550. Dr. Wondertainment's custom pets. Okay, so if we put this Mighty Morphin egg in a pair of demonias, I'm at least 86% sure we'll get like a hot god dom. Smash. SCP-054. Water nymph. Remember when the internet got really creepy about Vaporia? On and about how sticking it in a thing of water would feel really good like a jacuzzi jet. It would be like that, except it's a water woman. So you wouldn't be a sick, demented f for wanting to stick it in something that looks like a goddamn raccoon. SCP-999. So this thing is just a blob that radiates pure love energy. I think it might be able to morph and change shape too. I mean, is there even any question to this one? I'm about to make it jiggle jiggle and fold. Smash. SCP-811, Swamp Woman. This entity is definitely covered in and filled with some sort of amphibian-like slime. That's nature's lubrication. Call me Shrek, cause I'm about to make this my swamp. Smash. No more! Where the f*** are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. SCP-3199, Humans Refuted. An amalgamation of genetic material mostly made of human and chicken DNA. Laying eggs to fill the entirety of your living space sounds pretty baby crazy to me. It's like someone who puts how many kids they want on Tinder. Creepy. Pass. SCP-426. I am a toaster. The eyeball man is so sexually attracted to toasters that I saw him take a bath with one. He would probably f*** me. Smash. He cried after. SCP-610. The flesh that hates. Getting a normal red itchy rash anywhere near my c*** would already cause me to have a panic attack. This would be just willingly giving yourself a lethal STD. Pass. SCP-939, with many voices. If I closed my eyes and just stuck it in and then just had them mimic a voice of someone who I'm really attracted to, I bet I could get it to work. But I would only do that if I'm really, really desperate. Pass, not currently that desperate. SCP-2006, too spooky. An entity hell-bent on scaring humanity that doesn't really know what they're afraid of. If this creature really wants to understand what's truly terrifying, it need look no further than in between my crotch. Smash. SCP. 336 Lilith I don't care if the thighs have a bunch of scales on them. She's bad as hell. I'll kidnap a bunch of human males and make them listen to her voice and get a crap ton of SCP-3361 instances all together in one big bed to have a huge horrific orgy. Smash. But I'm still not a furry. Don't call me one in the comments or I'll kill you. SCP-079. Old AI. Even though the fact that it's so mean is great if you're into degradation, I feel like this would only work if I was in the metaverse. But then I would have to sign the form saying I'll admit all my deepest, darkest secrets and fetishes to Mark Zuckerberg. Pass. I don't want to end up as that man smoked meats. SCP-4999. That one guy who comes and smokes a ciggy with lonely people while they're dying. I know lots of people who like cigarettes after sex, and in France they call an orgasm le petit mort, which means the little death. I don't know where I'm going with any of this, I just had a fact. Pass. SCP-002, the living room. I'm not really one for humping the hole in between couch cushions, nor am I into vor. Pass. Although for some weird fucker, this is the perfect combination. There really is someone for everyone. SCP-131, the iPods. These cute little buggers remind me way too much of my small blue friend Amoeba. Pass. This ain't sweet home Alabama. SCP-354, the red pool. I'm not really sure how one would coitus any sort of pond, much less a blood red anomalous pond. I guess I could smash the various strange objects that emerge from it. Nah, that's like a supernatural glory hole. You never really know what you're getting. Pass. SCP-4960, a Bronze Age sex and fertility goddess of beauty. Apparently this entity will just get really sad if you don't worship her body. I have n no idea what to say. Usually I have to like scroll down at least slightly in Google images to find sexualized art depictions for the entity. Like usually I have to somewhat sexualize it for the sake of comedy, but this one is sincerely written for the sake of people to beat off to. Smash, I mean, she's described as really hot. SCP-871, the self-replacing cake. Somebody's gotta tell that cake 
farts lady that she has unlimited cake for her content creation. Now that I said that, a few of you sick fucks definitely just signed up to be the D-class that has to eat it. Pass, I'm not gonna peg the thing that you're about to eat. SCP-3456, the Orcadian Horseman. Basically a skinned horse with a human torso rising out of the center. The SCP Foundation actually stole this from Scottish folklore, so I feel like I would need the entirety of Scotland's consent, and I'm not gonna go to the effort to create a census to fuck a horse person I'm not even attracted to. Pass. SCP-016, Sentient Microorganism. The consequences for having this inside of you are grave for a human, but I can't really get those diseases. Pass. I just keep wondering whether or not it was in yet. Ah! Ooh. Wow, the cringe is so strong, it's like a bump of coke. SCP-5031, another murder monster. If you've heard this entry, it's kind of a misnomer towards the end because the murder monster learns a love of cooking and actually turns out to be pretty cool. Straight up wholesome. I bet it would cook for its date and actually have enough brain cells to talk and both of those things are pretty rare nowadays, so smash. SCP-1609, the remains of a chair. I'm not gonna be sticking it inside a regular mulch pile, much less one that would attempt to annihilate me when I step within a three foot radius, pass. SCP-055, the anti-meme, what is that? Never heard of it. SCP-055, the anti-meme, what is that? Never heard of it. SCP-055, the anti-meme, what is that? Never heard of it. SCP-1765, the sisters. Sometimes these entities are depicted as looking like a fan service anime girl by all the monster f out there. Also, they're sadistic as hell, so it would basically just be getting tortured by neckbeard fantasies. Smash. SCP-1048, the Builder Bear. I don't like stuffed animals like that. Not only that, it would turn me into ears and then disassemble me to make more teddy bears. Fun fact, once I met someone who was really into stuffed animals and only wanted to do anything on a pile of her stuffed animals, all of which she had names that she told me before. No shade, but that really took me out of it. Pass. SCP-3288, the aristocrats. Cannibalistic subterranean humans that have been inbred to the point of a pug. These genetics are already so distorted beyond belief and putting a Mebian DNA into that mix would be downright irresponsible. Smash, let's see what happens, like that time we gave all those squirrels peanuts dusted with cocaine and they attacked everybody. SCP-835-JP. Someone in the comments recommended me this one, and honestly, I'm more scared of you than you are of me. The age can decrease or increase by 10 years. That's f***ing sus as hell. What do you take me for, mini lad? Pass. SCP-087, the infinite stairwell. I'm not really sure how I would do this to a stairwell, well, there's finishing on the stairs, but then you leave yourself liable to someone slipping and falling, and you'll catch a negligence-based injury and an SA charge all in one go. Pass. I can't go back to jail. SCP-847, the mannequin. Plastination is permanent and lethal for every human subject that comes in contact with this anomaly. Plastination is just like bruising for me. Goes away within three days. Just keep it off my neck and arms because people will see me and judge me. Smash. SCP-5699, take care of yourself. Now this is gonna piss some people off, but just let me explain. Pass. This entity is coming over to comfort you. Don't just make them uncomfortable by trying to turn it into something else. SCP-500, the pill that can cure any disease. If I put it in my urethra, I wonder if it'll cure everything that's wrong with it, which is nothing, but don't check. Smash. SCP-031, the organism living in the ductworks of the Pyongyang Hotel. This tenderly flesh blob can emulate any living being. That's a big plus. However, I already have sneaky links with a lot of reality benders, and bio shifters that don't require me to go to North F Korea. Pass. Now I'm gonna ask Professor Lucius, who is definitely not tied up in the very same cell that the Foundation tried to put me in. Lucy buddy, I'm gonna show you a series of monsters, and you gotta pick one to do the segs with. SCP-106? You want me to what? Either f it or, or don't, man. You sick, twisted, hang on. What's the first choice? The old man? Is it you? No, it's not me, and I take offense to this line of questioning. What would make you even think I would have any interest in a decaying, rotting, corrosive pile of meat? Hmm, never mind. I see your point. I'll take that as a smash. It'll be in your room tonight. Next! SCP-082. Ah, wee oui, wee. Oui. Paris, the city of love. And cannibals? I must say, I'm starting to see a trend with your options. And to be frank, I'm a little insulted. Look man, if you want to get some around the foundation, you gotta lower your standards. A hole is a hole. What would even make you think that cannibalism is something I would indulge in? 
Is it the eyes? The teeth? Some delusional, overweight and confused Frenchman is hardly my idea of a fun Friday night. Not a roleplay guy? Fair enough. Next! SCP-4666, the Yule Man. Despite what they'd have you believe, the Yule Man is very pleasant. Are we referring to the same guy? It's the child murderer, not the cookie-eating fat guy from the Coke ads. Did you know he doesn't like clothes? I guess we are. Either that or you had a drunk uncle ruin Christmas for you. You can imagine what all that frolicking around the snow does for him. Not exactly a wise choice, if you get my meaning. Nonetheless, he's always available, except for a few days around Christmas, when he gets his jollies elsewhere. Okay, that's a two-thirds smash. You'd think I wouldn't have to force you at gunpoint. Or maybe that's just the cognito hazards. People say don't kink shame. I say kink shame everyone equally. You are all disgusting perverts that should be very ashamed, except for me because I'm just the one profiting off of it, not the one whacking off to it. Bone thieves. Pass. Couldn't get it up. Skin stealer. It depends on whose skin they got on, because if they're wearing Saweetie or Belle Delphine, maybe? But have you ever seen bad taxidermy where the skin doesn't quite fit over the mold and it's like very noticeable? I'm really worried that it'll end up looking like the human equivalent of this. Would you fuck the human equivalent of this thing? Pass. Smiler. Rather stick my dick in a wood chipper and with that grin it doesn't look too far off. Pass. Party goers. Being vaguely humanoid is a plus, but those claws and the fact that they'd be singing nursery rhymes? Pass. I really don't think I could get it up if she was just shrieking RING AROUND THE ROSE! Party hosts. This is just a weird fat baby. Pass. Who do you take before, mini lad? Memory worms. Okay, so if I could bring this thing to a specialist dentist and rip out all of its teeth, that's like a nostalgia flashlight for sexual experiences past. I'd smash that thing so hard I'd develop an unhealthy relationship with it and not be able to fully enjoy the present. Clumps? See, I'd say it could give a good handy, or footy, I guess, but you'd also just get absorbed, so it'd just be incredibly distressing <laughs> masturbation. Pass. I can do that on my own. Jerry. I guess it depends whether or not you're holding Jerry, because if you're holding him, he'll probably just make you say yes because he's controlling your Brian. Since I'm not currently holding Jerry, no, I will not f the parrot. Pass. Neural isopods. Pass. I'm not about to have my kidney filled with insect eggs. No kink shaming, it's just not for me. Carpet moss. I mean, I'm kind of a masochist, but not so much that I want to painfully dissolve. Pass. Not water. Wait, so if you drink the not water, you're connected to everyone else who did it psychically. But if you jerk off in the not water, do you get STDs from everybody who's the water has had sex with? Too risky. Pass. Wretch. Remember when Alex Jones repped those workout supplements and he was singing their praises, but the before and after picture, he's just like slightly more red? That's what the wretch looks like to me. Smash. Dentists. So despite the fact that touching this thing would turn you into a red walking blob, it doesn't really matter because wherever you fuck this thing, it's a blowy. Certain death. Blowy. Certain death, good job. Actually, wait, no, those are both wins. Smash. Combine. Look at all them little fingers. Mm, smash. Stalker. Someone who learns someone's deepest hopes, dreams, and fears, insecurities, and then uses them as an emotional wrecking ball to betray them. That's like all my exes, so I've kind of already done it. Smash. Staircase mollusks. What that muscular foot do, huh? Smash. Landlord. Pass. I don't want to die like Tom Holland, Spider-Man. Fallen Angels. Smash faster than Matt Pat finger banged Golden Freddy. No question, it's basically just a human, except it can give wing jobs. Mangled? Pass. You know what they say, you don't got an epidermis, you don't get my firmus and spermus. Oh, cringe. Now, dating in the back rooms is kind of like it is when you have life in prison. You're going to be here forever. If you want to get some, you gotta make do with what there is. Just like a person sentenced to life, a back rooms wanderer learns one lesson very quickly. A hole is a hole. Woodlands. Pass because dick splinters. I don't want to be mourning my wood. Here's the gun. What? Here's the doctor's note. Just f do it. It's what time! Death moths. Some would say it depends on the type of moth, but honestly getting attacked by a huge moth or crushing a tiny one with my dick, neither of those sound like very good times. Pass. Game master. Let's get this one out of the way. Smash. This is the only one where that smash is even close to sincere. Some of the edits draw this entity like an IG model because none of you have any self-control, not even around a drawing. Bursters. If you tried to enter this thing, it would immediately dissolve you with its disgusting acid back pimples. Pass. Surgeons. I'm not really about getting genital surgery during sex. No kink shaming, but it's just not for me. Pass. 
Crawlers, you're asking me if I'd have sex with a disease. Not getting an STD, literally f***ing the disease. Pass. Numbed man. First off, pass right off the bat. But this one's kind of weird. See, you gotta be careful about this because uh, he knows as much about you as you do about him. So if you think you'd fuck, but then the numbed man thinks that they wouldn't, that's pretty embarrassing. Although if you think that you wouldn't and the numbed man thinks they would, then you got them on the ropes. Wait, holy shit, this is kind of like regular scheming. Pounds. I don't want fuck an old man and I don't want fuck a dog. Putting them together makes it so much worse. Pass. Impronounceable spider name. I don't know if I'm about to stir up controversy with this statement, but I don't find spiders sexually attractive. Pass. Six arms. An entity attracted to anxiety. I already have enough body dysmorphic thoughts rattling around in my dumbass meatball head. No way I'm letting this f see my naked body. Putrid. Pass instantly. Not out of any body shaming stuff, but because it's filled with cockroaches. Actually, I, I guess if I'm shaming them because their body is filled with cockroaches, that technically is body shaming. Pass because body shaming. This meat is gummy. You know, I'm not really even sure how one would have intercourse with a gummy worm. I mean, you can put it inside of you, but you know how when you eat candy and your hands get all sticky? Imagine that feeling, but inside of you. Smack. Reverse defecation birds. Okay, since this bird unshits itself and birds only have one hole, yeah, only one hole if you didn't know. I don't want to be anywhere near that thing when it unshits itself. It'll come through your body and rip your dick off with great force. Pass. Stranglers. Smash based on the name alone. Entity 666. This guy looks like a mime on bath salts. I know my type and it's not that. Pass. Wallworms. So these things are native to the walls. You could just make a glory hole and pretend it isn't a worm. Then again, acid secretions from its skin on my pass. pass. Scorpses. All right, since these creatures have human heads on the end of their tails, it depends who I'm getting dome from. If it's Steve Buscemi, the answer is going to be different than if it's Emma Watson. Cannibal Cuisines. Last time I did something like this to a vending machine, I got banned from a Six Flags. Smash. Totally worth it. Oxids. Hey, do you want to stick your dick in that crab that has saliva that literally dissolves rusty metal? Pass, idiot. Glock Dookie. Did you just ask me if I would fuck a toothpaste tube filled with vomit, cum, piss, and shit? Smack. Reviux. Okay, so no one really knows what they look like. So they have guesses and show this picture of the cracked up ground. For me, it's like one of those Tinder profiles with no pictures of the person. It's not just me being shallow. How do I know you're not a 53 year old man with a trucker mustache, a tattoo of Ed Gein on your ass and zip ties in the trunk of your van? And you're not just luring me under the alias of Cassie from Arizona State. Pass. Splats. A giant blob of flesh? If I'm gone to the point that I can't see, that actually sounds quite nice. Smash. Wallpaper wraiths. Smash, but only if it gives me a live slug reaction. Leon. While some might claim that Leon gives good suck, and technically they are not wrong, I don't want anyone to suck all of the blood out of my hard cock using three massive teeth. That sounds f***ing terrifying. And you know that Leon would try to charge afterwards by sucking even more blood out of your shoulder after. Pass. Cerebrospinal leech. No for a similar reason to Leon. Also, since this creature controls your thoughts, there's not really a way to consent, so if this leech tries anything, it's going straight the f*** to jail. Snatcher weeds. Since contact with their poison is incredibly painful, masochism for the win. I'd f*** the plant. Smash. Skin givers. Pass. I got my foreskin cut off for a reason. I do not want it back. Stop asking why I love crafty and entity has foreskin. I have many. I have a collection. What am I doing right now? You're a beater bird. I'ma stick my dick in that weird glowy juice black bubble and make it clap smash fine see i came back and fucked the fucking monsters because that's what you all wanted you sick twisted bastards that i love so very much you're the real monsters here jeff the killer i don't bend that way but even if i did lips really do matter in terms of sloppy toppy realistically how the fuck does this killer even keep saliva in their mouth pass why did you leave me Jane the killer, however, holy shit, smash, 100%. If I could find this person, minus the would stab me in my face in my sleep part of it, I would propose marriage. Honestly, as long as the stabbing isn't directly at me, we could still get past it. Subjects from the Russian sleep experiment. So they have no lips, so like Jeff the killer, that's a big L. Plus all of their fingertips are bone and they're all covered in their own feces from smearing book pages on the windows. A skeletal scat job sounds like something that would traumatize the Zodiac killer. 
Pass. Ben drowned. I might be an unknowable Lovecraftian horror, but why in God's name would you ask if I would smash a fucking drowned kid? You're fucking disturbed. Pass. Please get therapy. Sonic.exe. I don't know what it is with the internet and weird Sonic fan fictions and the OCs and all the horrible things that they do to each other's bits. Look, we all know what happened with Chris Chan. Playing Sonic games is a slippery slope. This isn't just a creepy pasta anymore. I think these games might actually be cursed. Pass. Smile dog. I don't know why so many of these horror stories involve animals. Didn't they know that more than a decade later, a random eyeball monstrosity would come by and play Would I Stick My D*** In It? For the millionth time, I'm not sticking it in an animal. I might be an unknowable abomination, but I have my limits. I'm not fucking Markiplier. Pass. Isla's Jack. Now, seeing as how those eyes are seemingly just empty sockets filled with slippery black goo, I know exactly where to stick it. Smash. The Rake. The teeth and the claws, I feel like having this near your genitals in any way is basically synonymous with getting oral from a paper shredder. Pass. Slenderman. I don't care if I get canceled, I'm gonna say it. Slenderman has no ass. I would say pass, but honestly, I'd have to swallow my pride if Slenderman also wanted to swallow it because I need clout. Smash. Squidward Suicide. I think the human grew up watching this cartoon. On one hand, the chance to literally bone a corrupted version of the human's childhood. On the other hand, fucking a dead squid. Wait, those are both wins. Smash. Hero Brine. I honestly can't imagine what a pixelated orifice feels like, but in my mind, it would feel unbearably sharp. Like a sock filled with shattered glass, or an inside out sea urchin, or one of those banana slicers. Catastrophe Crow. So I'm not sure which thing exactly I'm expected to smash. Is it the designer of the game? Or the game itself? That weird crow inside of it? Pass because this was too confusing of an option, and two out of the three options are either d electrocution or fucking a crow to death. Candle Cove. I assume the sex would be with the weird marionettes. If I wanted to f a husk that has a pair of human skin wrapped around it, I'd order a custom Ed Gein made sex doll or try to go to a pre-organized corporate speed dating event. Pass. Mr. Bear from 1999. I wouldn't smash this horrifying f***er in the sense of a smasher pass, but I would like to smash his face into a waffle iron. I don't like this guy. I'm gonna add a third option, that of murder. The option to put these f***er through a wood chipper. No end house. A lot of people would ask how it's possible to coitus a cursed house. The answer is similar to how you would f*** anything else, find a hole. Although when it comes to a house, especially an old cursed one, the risk of d splinters is quite high. I gotta stop f***ing out. No pain, no gain. Smash because d splinters. The Expressionless. The Expressionless is just a living mannequin with super sharp teeth. While dome isn't an option, this is way better than f***ing a non-living mannequin by creating an asshole with a drill. Smash. The person with no senses from the gateway of the mind. See, the thing is, if you have no taste, smell, hearing, sight, or touch, how the actual f*** are you supposed to communicate consent? If there's one thing you learn from college orientation, or just, you know, not being a horrible person, it's that if someone has no access to any of their senses, by no means should you try to stick anything inside of them. Pass. Primary Color Man. This thing can alter my visual senses and its own body so it can look like whatever I want it to. Smash, I want you to switch through this list of celebrities in 35 seconds each. No! <laughs> Train Eater. This one is a dirty h all it does is drag its bare ass on the New York subway every day and let every human being taking public transportation in NYC inside of it pass. This is how you catch a disease. Caught in the rain. This monster has like four separate jaws to stick it inside. However, the teeth are super sharp and I think it freaks out whenever it gets wet. Pass. We wouldn't be a good match considering that I'm often a moist man. The neighbor. This thing has three hands and a face inside of his weird little gullet. This thing could give one hell of a pixie stick jiffy lick even if I had whiskey dick. Smash. Hazardous. This pile of goo is literally glowing and definitely has some sort of infection shit going on with it. Not only that, but they're just like so toxic that I literally can't even. Pass. Double Mammoth. Kinda looks like a half mammoth, half man, all skeleton. Last time I did something like this to a mammoth, the Smithsonian had to halt their cloning project due to contaminated DNA samples. 
Also, where is even the ass to speak of? Pass, bones are sharp, and I'm in debt from a museum lawsuit. The black crown. My god, that hourglass shape though? I'm also a sucker for a beautiful smile. Smash, the dentist. Honestly, this man is just a box head with a buzzsaw for a hand. Amazing world of gumball looking at ass. Pass, this is like a human, but minus a lot of the fun parts. Megahorn. So this one's like Siren Head's much larger cousin that also eats his cousins. Sounds like Appalachia rules to me. You know when you meet somebody off a Tinder date and they go into their entire family's toxic history? That seems like it would be Megahorn's preferred conversation. Pass. Fairy gates. So this thing would automatically transport whatever goes inside of it to another fairy gate. So basically, screwing this thing is sticking your dongle inside of a dimensional guillotine. Pass. I need it for something else. Demonic bunny. This thing apparently smells like a rotting corpse. I'm not saying I'm not into that. I'm just saying they have to be insanely hot for me to be into it. Pass. This thing looks like a skeleton that had sex with an Easter bunny costume and that's nowhere near hot enough. The watchers. Half house, half floaty squid. Wid. This one kind of looks like an amoeba and found a way to fuck the house. Honestly, I bet there's some sort of hole under all those tendrils. Only one way to find out. Smash. Chimney head. I wonder if I'll get high if I suck the fumes out of its head. Sex and drugs? Those are like my two favorite things. Smash out of curiosity. Radio knot. This one kind of looks like Siren Head's old analog style cousin. Look, TV is already going out of style and I know what network news did to the humans, so I can imagine what fucked up beliefs Radio Knot has got rattling around in its head. Pass. The last customer. I will say this thing Thing looks very stretchy and flexible beyond belief, but the uncanny valley can be kind of a turnoff. Also, dude, staying past hours at a store, one thing that really tells you about someone is how they treat people working in retail or service industries, and this guy's pretty rude, so pass. Living saucers. Okay, that tractor beam could definitely deliver crazy suction. And then it's got all those little foobles and grabbers on it. This thing could give one hell of an insert wacky nonsensical penis name to fit overused format of BJ joke, smash. The high priest of the old great ones. Not only is this old one famous beyond all comprehension, it's got a face covered in tentacles. I'm just saying, this thing could give one hell of a scintillating suction slong shuckle. Smash. If it's not a necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. Survival guide? For, For what? Me. What? I can make it worth your while. What the fuck? The Dunwich Horror. While every single one of its tentacles does have a mouth attached, all of them are filled with haphazard sharp teeth sticking out at every angle. Also, this thing smells like dead rotting animals and would probably rip a cow in half and drink its fluids in front of me. While that display of power would be incredibly attractive, everything else is horribly wrong. Pass. Yog Sothoth. An all-knowing god locked on the outside of the cosmos. Look, if these creature is all-knowing, it definitely knows of all the people with a bigger dingle than me, and that's what I'd be thinking about the entire time. Past Children of the Sphinx. So basically, it's just like a regular human except with various random animal parts. This is just like that time I found a dead supermodel, several squirrels, and a nail gun. Smash, but I'm not a furry guy. Seriously, shut the hell up or I'll do to you what I did to those squirrels. Azathoth. Basically a living black hole that is seen differently by all who experience it. The Blind Idiot God. With a name like that, it's definitely into degradation. Smash, it's like all the fun of being mean, but you're not actually hurting anybody's feelings. Shoggoth. Massive amoeba-like creatures made out of iridescent black slime with multiple eyes floating on its surface. Honestly, that's not even too far off from screwing a member of my own species. Smash. H.P. Lovecraft's cat. First off, pass right off the bat, I'm not gonna smash a cat. There's no way in hell. But not only is it a cat, it's a fucking racist cat. The Flying Polyps. These things are the most phallic creature in the entire Lovecraft universe. Yagalanak the Defiler. This is literally the most perverse entity in all of existence. Its whole deal is perversion and defiling, and that's right up my alley. Although, this is just a morbidly obese headless man when you get down to it, so I'm not gonna go right up his alley. Pass. The Great Race of Yith. This thing has a literal toolbox for depraved usage. 
face tentacles and that long fooble with all those weird holes. So many places to smash, I don't know where to start. Lil Cthu, the birth womb of the great old ones. So basically this giant monster vag is what they all fall out of. Physical characteristics aside, anytime one of these fear does something so destructive to humanity that they think is so cool, the dark ancient god Cthulhu has called for a press conference. I can just be like, I f your mom. Smash. Migo. No, not the musical group Migos, the pinkish fungoid crustacean-like entities that inhabit the planet Yagoth. I love mushrooms, and I love shrimps, can I add the third option of eat it? In the creature is twist like stir fry. The conscious nothingness between the stars. Having sex with nothing? No cap, if you're watching this video sincerely and not for comedic effect, that's what you do every day. Pass, don't worry, I'm not gonna try to slide on your very real girlfriend that definitely goes to another school. Kasagatha. Apparently this is both Cthulhu's sister and mate. What are you doing, step bro? Ew. But not only that, it would be a double dick move to smash her. Also, I just smashed Cthulhu, so that would be a triple dick move. Pass, I'm a monster, but I'm not a monster. Ghast. Humanoid creatures that only speak in guttural squelches. I want to know what those squelches sound like when it's taking it up the butt. Smash. The HR dogs. I love puppies, but like a family member. Pass, I don't live in Alabama. Are you happy? You think this sick, horrible crap is funny? Suggesting someone play Smash or Pass with the Happy Meat Farms abominations? Sure, it's all fun and games when Markiplier is pretending what he did to all those Pokemon were just jokes. This has gone too far. But evidently, when it comes to internet clout and special green papers, I am a whore. So let's get into it. Starting with the human subjects, H0018. You look like an avocado. Had sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Yeah. Not gently. Like it was hate Bass. H0019. Okay, so the whole head top area is just like one big mouth. So if we could get like a guillotine glory hole type rig where I couldn't even see it, that'd be the only way I could even entertain this notion. Honestly though, pass. H0020. I don't even know what I do with this one. A hole is a hole, but I don't see a hole. So I think I have to pass out of logistic impossibility. H0021. Honestly, it'll be a miracle if any of you get smashed. Even despite the fact that you're all horrific abominations that even a passing thought of would turn any sane individual either dry or flaccid depending on what's down there, none of you are wearing any clothes, and I haven't even introduced myself yet. You keep saying, oh, but it's smash or pass, aha, but that's not an excuse. You were naked before you knew I was gonna make this video. Pass. I need to take a shower. H0022. Smash. It has kind eyes. H0023. Call me shallow, but there's no picture of this one. I need to know what I'm getting into, especially with what the rest of the people look like on this weird meat-themed dating app. Pass. H0024. I'm not really sure what any of you were expecting. What? You thought I was just gonna waltz out here and say I want to stick my dick in this thing? This hideous, horrible abomination that has a humiliation and financial domination kink and they paid me all to say those mean things? Pass. They've already finished. H0025. This guy looks like a human anthill. I'm not trying to make assumptions, but last time I put my dick in a regular anthill, it ended very badly. Pass. H0027. Under regular circumstances, pass, but because they were the only ones with those files from earlier and I had to make a video that week, well, I already admitted to being a prostitute. Smash. Before we get to the grand finale, lightning round, because I don't want to fuck any of these animals. C0172. This thing doesn't even got no holes to speak of. Pass. M0097. Anything you put in there is gonna come out covered in tumors. Pass. B0112. This this thing lives despite no face, meaning that that mouth do nothing. Pass. M0098. No, I don't want to f a dead cow. Pass. B0113. Happy Meat Farms doesn't shy away from the horrific and gory. Why would you want to put your genitals anywhere near the things that they do censor? Pass. C0174. Would you want to f a still probably living chicken nugget that wherever you look is always making eye contact? Pass. M0099. I already know everyone's going to call this one thick with extra C's in the comments. And sometimes I wonder who's more at fault. Me for making this video, or all of you for watching it? We're all to blame. Pass. P0114. This is another one of those where I have no idea where it would even go. I could stick it in the eye. Nah, pass. M0101. I don't want to do coitus with a cow. I don't want to do coitus with a spider. So I don't know why you thought combining them would make me want to. Pass. All right, now for the big two. Mother. 
Despite the fact that this is a horrific monstrosity which we cannot see, you gotta do what you gotta do to get yourself a muse. Sometimes you just gotta roll up your sleeves and your foreskin and get to work. Alex Bale, Smash. Alien. No, 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 no. This thing has a trachea in its trachea that can extend and retract. Wait, 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 wait. Have you ever gotten the Glizzy Guzzler 9000 from a throat inside of a throat? Wait, 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 wait. I think not. Smash. The thing. Okay, so this is one of those creatures that could literally be anyone or anything you could possibly want. I want it to have like 37 thick asses. The only way this wouldn't be a smash is if you valued something stupid like personality or chemistry. Ha! Gay! Smash. Jason Voorhees. It depends at which stage we're talking about with Jason, because as the movies go on, he just gets like more decayed and waterlogged. A corpse that's been discovered in the reeds floating in the water full of gas and maggots is not a place you should put your folds and flaps. Pass. Freddy Krueger. A lot of you might think I'd pass on Freddy because of his torn up face and skin, but I'm not that shallow. It's not all about looks, guys. It's actually because his knife clubs would tear my c*** from my body and because the rest of them looks fucking disgusting too. Pass. The Fly. First off, Jeff Goldblum has always kind of looked like an old man in my head. And every time I watch The Fly, I'm just utterly in shock as to how f***ing ripped he was. But this isn't about uncomfortably ripped, melty Jeff Goldblum. It's about the Brundlefly abomination that he turns into. No, I don't think I'll be having sex with that. Pass. Tusk. A walrus assembled out of a traumatized screaming man and a suit made from corpses. I know you're all sitting behind your screens waiting for me to say how I'd go full walrus on this thing's anus, and you should all be very ashamed of yourself. Pass. I will never recover. The toothy vag lady from Teeth. You might be thinking that the teeth are a deal breaker, but the thing is, she doesn't have to bite down. I've trusted plenty of people to allow it in their mouths. If the lady seemed normal and non-murderous, I'd also trust a downstairs mouth. Smash. The little doll from Saw. Despite the fact that my masochistic tendencies would pair quite well with this, it's a weird little doll on a tricycle. Also, he looks like he has clown makeup on. I learned from my time spent with the pussy that no matter how hard I try, clown porn is not my thing. Pass. The Nun. Michael Myers from Halloween. There's a time and a place for a deadpan performance, and it's great when delivered in things like comedy or a murderous rampage. Applying the same logic to sex sounds uncomfortable. I don't want you to just sit there stone faced and make direct eye contact with me as your shitty theme music plays. For God's sake, man, say something! Pass. Predator. This thing's mouth anatomy could give the best slob gobbler knob groveler I've ever seen in my whole gosh darn life. Smash. The aliens from A Quiet Place. They got that foldy face. I bet its weird ear sockets are capable of giving one hell of a chold gulper with extra sauce. Okay, seriously, this is getting weird now. Why do so many horror movie aliens have such foldable faces? What do you mean I'm the weird one? They're putting- they're the weird ones! They made it! When I go on a date and she asks what I do, what the f do you t would you tell her? I don't know. The only thing I can do is send the siren head video and hope she doesn't find the ones about me satirically f***ing all of these monsters. You think I'd keep doing this if it wasn't insanely popular? Leatherface. I was gonna say pass to this one, but this mofo's got a silver tongue. I mean, how are you supposed to say no when this Casanova hits you with <gasps> Smash. You never had a chance. Cenobites from Hellraiser. The Wire Twins. Those two uncanny valley horrifically distorted yet somehow also sexualized Cenobites are literally made for f***ing the denizens of hell. They massage your muscles under the skin and have elongated tongues for exactly what you think they're for. Smash, obviously. Chucky. Considering how poorly everyone reacted when Dan Harmon, the creator of Rick and Morty, created a short film where he pretended to f*** a baby doll and everything else that's wrong with this whole scenario, and the fact that Chucky would constantly be trying to stab at me. Pass. The tire from rubber. I've never gotten a tread job, but if it's anything like that time I got my d*** run over by a flatbed, 
Pass. Uzumaki's Spiral Carved Face Lady. So this one is pretty much just a regular woman if you avoid looking at her horribly disfigured face. You know, if I take enough Benadryl, maybe I can get my vision so blurry that I think I'm f female Japanese Mike Tyson. Smash. So here's how this is gonna work. Two desert eagles attached to the man. <laughs> Stop! He's dead! He's dead! He's already dead! Uzumaki's Spiral Man. Not only do I not really bend that way, but he's bent every which way. Where would I even find a spot to slip it in? Also, it's probably so contorted that I would need hardware like a duck cock to get anywhere. Pass. Last but not least for Uzumaki, the snail people. Now I know you think I'd say smash because it's hella slippery and slimy, but what you failed to predict is that I am an expert in how animals have sex, and snails actually f by stabbing each other in their bits with super sharp penis starts. So that's a pass. The Amigara Fault. On one hand, it's a hole made to fit me exactly. But on the other hand, the walls are made out of rock. A perfectly molded fleshlight that you then fill with gravel sounds like more of a torture device than a sex toy. Pass. The Balloon Noose People. It would basically be a biological creature designed for narcissists with an autoerotic asphyxiation thing. Smash, but I'm not either of those things and also don't check. Blackbird. The mysterious woman that feeds the dying guy mouth to mouth with rotten flesh to keep him alive. I'm into a lot of gross, degrading, and unsanitary things, but I can confidently say that vomit is not one of them, much less if the vomit was my own rotting flesh. Pass. The masses of people who are stitched together an army of one. Okay, so if you're into weird knife stuff and tie-ups, this would be your absolute dream. The sharp pokey bits don't appeal to me, but this is also the biggest orgy you could hope for on your planet. Smash. The sleepy man's from the long dream. Remember folks, if someone's unconscious, don't shove things in their orifices. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but you clicked on this video. So I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Pass. The neighbor monster lady from the window next door. I know girl next door fantasies are a thing, but this creature is the most disgusting sight I've ever laid eyes on. Not only that, but she is way too aggressive towards a family member's son who was probably far too young. And she likely belongs in jail. Pass. The slimy pimple people from Glyceride. I do like slime, but goddamn, get a skincare routine. I know some people can't control it, but if you're drinking a bottle bottle of grease a day and saying you don't know why you can't control your acne, it's like someone eating at McDonald's three times every day and saying they don't know why they can't control their weight. Pass. There's nothing wrong with struggling, but just goddamn be honest. Dissection girl. You know, this is not the first time I've gotten a request to cut someone open during coitus, and I'm gonna say what I said the last time. I'll hold it up to your neck, but I'm not gonna finish the job because this is not worth going to jail for. Smash. The cannibal monster fashion model lady. With this mouth, a blowy is definitely not on the table. Also, I don't know, I just kind of find her unnerving. I know her story is tragic because she's trying to find love, but like every incel needs to learn that being sexually frustrated does not mean you could be a d Pass. The Licking Woman. Now, if there wasn't any mention of her saliva being some sort of lethal pathogen, I'd be willing to give it a go with this big tongue lady. But in her current state, that's nasty. Pass. Take some antibiotics and get back to me with negative test results. The Ribs Woman. The midsection is so detailed and graphic, it's enough to give me the heebie-jeebies. Plus, with all the wires, it's impossible not to get poked, and could you imagine the noises? Ugh. Pass. Abyssal Copapod. Those weird fingers are probably useful for lots of things that I can never unimagine. Pass. I need therapy, but you need therapy more, because you clicked on this for enjoyment. I cannot believe I have to have this conversation with all of you again. Telling someone to play Smash or Pass with the mystery flesh pit fauna is not only inappropriate, but it's also disgustingly horrible and depraved to a point beyond recovery. And I am so honored that all of you thought of me to be your dark guide in this defiance to God. So let's get into it. Lesser Copapod. I think this is just like the Abyssal Copapod, except it's a submissive. Pass. Any hole with an exoskeleton on the outside sounds like sticking it in an 
antique pencil sharpener. Bone mite. I have a thing about bugs in my bed, especially ones that want to suck my bones out and leave me a skin puddle. Pass. Just like the bone thieves can't get it up. Macrobacteria. I'm pretty sure that anything organic that goes in there gets dissolved and digested. Not a huge vor guy. Although, some theorize that multicellular life was created when one cell ate another and didn't absorb it. So perhaps my dick could become the powerhouse of this new amalgamation cell. Smash, but for science. Gangliotoad. Now, there are a lot of things you could do with this weird flesh tube feather duster, but all of them feel kind of like torture methods. That's some Uncanny Valley BDSM type sh**. Smash. Amorphous shame. This thing is just one long slippery tube. Realistically, I bet I could use this creature as a condom to fuck something else. Is that technically a three-way? Smash. Venus shamble. You could kind of stick it in the front. Or if you're a girl and like incredibly promiscuous, you could attempt to insert the entire thing like that one porn video where that girl sticks an entire bald man's head up her vagina. You ever see that one? Pass. Greater ballast siren and lesser ballast siren. Okay, seeing as how you're already in the amniotic springs, there's likely not a single thing any conscious being wouldn't bone when in that liquid crap. Smash, but not of my own choice. Shrieking Cloistropod. Okay, so this thing could both be used as a fleshlight and a dildo, but it's a little too hairy for my tastes. No shade if that's your thing, and like, it's not gonna stop me if I'm really into someone, but this thing is basically just four sex toys taped together, so pass. Though aren't we all just like four sex toys taped together? Stinging Triocanth. These things kind of remind me of giant fleshy wasps. Last time I had a regular wasp near my dingle, it ended incredibly poorly. Pass. The pit itself. Even if I wanted to say smash, which I don't, I don't logistically see any feasible way to get this done. Despite the fact that my dick is obviously Lovecraftian in scale, but please don't check, there's no situation in which this just wouldn't be like a hot dog in a hallway. Straight up though, it's kind of like screwing a famous person. Even if they aren't hot, it's a huge flex. Smash. Hopefully it can lead to some good networking opportunities. Gas Bowel. Could you imagine? the suction potential this small, strange, slimy creature holds? Smash. Expectorate. Now, I'm not sure if doing the sexterate to the expectorate would give you the special DMT venom, but there's only one way to find out. Smash. Compound organism. It really depends on the compound organism in this case, because if I'm dealing with country bears, Cronenberg Jamboree, or the circus clown Chymus, the answer is going to be different than if some raging incel throws a bunch of e-girls into the pit. Gastric bristle worm. I'm already in a committed relationship with the parasitic worms that I already have, so pass. Anodyne sensory organ brain case. Imagine your entire existence was just a brain and a tongue and then one day you felt and tasted that someone was rubbing their dick on it. I have no mouth and I must cut. Pass. Marrow folk. So it's kind of like a human, but more slimy and kind of like that weird sticky goblin creature from The Descent. Is there a third option that depends on how many drinks I've had? Because is my video and now there is and that's the one that I picked. Dora Gorefield. You see that little glowy doodle in between its head stabber? I'm pretty sure it contains the sum of all human knowledge, which is precisely why I intend to stick my dick in it. Brain f all of you at once. Smash. I can't live in this world anymore! Aries Gorefield. Okay, so it's either getting a weird cat sandpapery tongue on it or trying to find a spot in the bones. That's disturbing as hell. Can't believe fucking these weird monsters on the internet is my job now. We all live in the darkest timeline. Pass. Gemini Gorefield. I'm gonna stick my thingy in the one side and then it's gonna come out the other one. Smash. Just like humans do with their ears all the time. Don't fucking lie to me. I know it's true. Cancer Gorefield. Out of logistics, I'm not sure how this one would work. Would this thing just have the weird crab egg undercarriage? I guess you could just whoop the scoop all over the eggs. Usually crabs are pretty small though, so a human piping one of them would just kill them. I'd be willing to bet that at least one human being has been caught fucking a crab to death. Pass, weirdo. Virgo Gorefield. Okay, real talk here, I would totally get dome from the girl on the front of Virgo Gorefield's lore, and then if the Gorefield tried to eat me, I'd just kill it, rip its tongue out, finish, and then leave. 
Smash. Leo Garfield. Okay, I was gonna say no because this thing is a living statue and if you've ever used a rock crevice as a fleshlight or stuck a stalactite in your vag tight, you might understand that a rock is not a very fun tool to use for that. However, this thing can raise anyone from hell back to the earth. So you could potentially have a necrophiliac million way with the hottest people from history and the only caveat is you have to watch a weird brimstone lion jay off in the corner. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the first one to say things and this is one of those times and it's all your fault. Libra Gorefield. How in the actual f do you expect me to have relations with an old style scale? This one isn't even disturbing, it's just a stupid question. Pass. Scorpio Gorefield. Last time I got my penis stung by a scorpion several times and then decided not to seek medical attention, it got all pus filled, turned black, and then fell off. My species can grow them back though and it was an inch bigger, so I want to try again and see. Smash. Sagittarius Gorefield. A man horse cat that likes to gamble with someone's life. I'm not into horse ass, but being that shit crazy does add a few hotness points. Make it a woman horse cat and you got yourself a smash. Capricorn Gorefield. Well, the entire goddamn body is just wrong and disgusting, and the mouth is just filled with rows of razor sharp teeth. So there's literally not one single appealing aspect of this. Pass. Aquarius Gorefield. Real talk, he's got that magic jar that can turn human blood into any liquid. I wonder what the fuck is gonna happen if I fill it with my splooge. Smash. Pisces Gorefield. Goldfish are basically like a big living fleshlight. No, I have never considered therapy. Why do you ask? Smash. A lot of people ask me if I'll do just about anything for views. No shit I would. What do you think I am? Some sort of little dick cloutless idiot? Go ask literally any relevant horror icon. My penis is a perfectly normal size. I don't know how I got here. Like, I'm genuinely dumbfounded. Like, what the fuck is happening? Like, am I, am I dying? So you know what I just did to these monsters over there? They're all metaphysical abominations capable of easily ripping human beings apart. Some at the subatomic level. Can you imagine what I'm capable of and willing to do to a human that didn't like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled? I wouldn't want to find out. Oh, hey, boy.